Hey guys, Tori here from the Amazing Brick Network. Today I take you on a journey, potentially, possibly. I'm going to drive about three or four hundred kilometers to different toy stores to see what is available Lego wise out there in regional Victoria. So come with me as I slowly die inside driving for hours and hours. All right, I've traveled about 70 kilometers and we're in the country town of Colac and we're going to the toy world that's there. Let's see what they've so got. This place is crazy. Whenever I head down this way, they've got just such random sets that you wouldn't expect. Like for example, the space shuttle there, crazy. The old school Batmobile. They got some really, really cool sets. I really like this store. And the thing I also like is that they don't strap up their uh, Lego with security stuff. Even that now is hard to get. But yeah, this place has got some cool stuff in it. And it's sometimes got older stuff in it too. Yeah. Alright, I'm going to have a proper look now without uh, you guys having to deal with me talking to you. So this is the first purchase, hopefully, of many of the day. They had the uh, early friends set, which I don't think you can get anymore. You can only get the apartments. Okay, so now I'm in Warnable. Having driven 176 kilometers, um, and that is the destination. So, geez, I hope there's something decent in there. Let's go find out. Well guys, I can tell you right now, this place does not disappoint. It was certainly well worth the drive. There is stacks and stacks of Lego here and I am going to show you through a lot of it, including even stuff like, um, as you can see up there, the Stranger Things set, which is very, very hard to get now. Got a lot of the, uh, the brick heads, which is pretty cool. I'm going to flip the camera around and just show you some of the stuff that is here at Toy World in Warnable, okay? So uh, bear with me and we'll get the camera ready. Even things like the hard to get tree houses here. You've got the medieval blacksmith, which you know has only just come out in Lego. And the Birds of Paradise set, which is pretty awesome. Also, for those of you who are trying to complete your Christmas sets, you've got the gingerbread house. And not nothing to do with Christmas, but still hard to get in some places, the grand piano. I want that set so badly, the Mos Eisley Cantina. I've just got no idea where I would actually keep it. But no, this store is really, really cool. They've got some sets that I haven't seen out in the wild. I'll be picking up some of these for sure. Like they've got the Infinity Saga sets, which I have not seen. The Milano, though, the price is breaking my heart just a lot. Though you do get the full crew, which is awesome. Black Panther helicopter. Then the Creator 3 and one sets. I'm looking for the aquarium. It seems to be gone almost everywhere though. Lots of Ninjago, which is cool. But some of the stuff I didn't know, and I'm really stoked about, is the fact that uh, these guys have got some Disney sets that I wasn't aware of, which doesn't mean a lot, just means I overlooked them. But how cool are they? I'm going to pick up the space set, the little Mickey set there. But no, this is super cool. Massive wall of Lego, totally worth the trip. And um, yeah, I can see my wallet being raided once again as I find little treasures to bring home and to build for you guys later on. So uh, I guess I'm going to get my wallet open. So stay tuned. I'll, I'll show you what I got. I don't know how much I'll buy here. I've got two more stops to make, but I'll definitely be getting some stuff. So a nice little haul from Warnable. The staff were really nice. There was plenty of Lego there, as you saw. And uh, onward and upward, I guess. Let's go. All right, guys. So we've been driving for 
hundreds of kilometers now and we've finally hit Toy World in the suburb of Hamilton. Now this place I've been told has got Lego sets from way way back when. That could be wrong I could have driven for no reason at all but let's go in there and have a look all right. All right guys we're at the Hamilton Toy World and yeah there's a lot of Lego here including some of the sets that you really would not expect to see anymore. Um, for people who did want older sets, this is quite amazing. And I'll show you why. Um, whilst it's not an old set, the Ninjago City Gardens, you don't see that a lot out in the wild. You generally have to get that straight off Lego. They got the Ecto, which is starting to see a lot of uh, shops again. But even little things like the Child, and then you've got the Star Wars range of helmets, which is all really cool. Otherwise, there is a lot of same things in here, and I still have yet to find a actual, um, oh goodness me, one of the aquariums, which is the one I'm really, really looking for. But this is a beautiful shop. It is jam packed, filled with Lego, and the staff have been really friendly out here too, which is always awesome and makes for a better shopping experience, absolutely. So, this will be our last stop because quite frankly, we've done so much driving that there is no way that we are actually going to make it to the shop that we wanted to go to. I'm a little bit sad seeing that there you know, on the Lego aisle. I mean, it is cool that it's the Titanic, but that brand is garbage. It will just fall apart. Still looking for that aquarium. Oh, that's nice. Some of the Toy Story stuff that is starting to disappear off the shelves is here, which is pretty neat. Have you guys seen anything that has piqued your fancy? If so, put a comment below. That would be highly appreciated. I love this setup here, mainly for the elephants. They're cool as. Um, the rest of it I don't really care too much about. But um, even some of the architecture sets, as you know, at the moment, we're building that one on the channel. I was keen to get the White House at some point as well. That might even be one I pick up today. And the medieval blacksmith, once again, coming out to country stores um, is a lot better because they don't strap up all their Lego to make it inaccessible or wreck the box if you're a collector. So have you guys seen something that you'd like? Um, this is a really cool store and most of the prices seem to be very much in line with what you'd expect to see on the Lego website itself. In any case, I better find something for me to buy because my rule is today i've got to buy lego at every stop i make and um it's a real such a hard and terrible rule i know you all feel sorry for me so let me have a bit of a bow peep i already i've already got that but um let me have a bow peep and we'll see uh what i managed to buy while i'm in here and because i'm a tool i actually didn't end up recording video for any of the final haul you've got two photos i hope you enjoyed the show though we drove all around had lots of fun and in fact bought a lot of lego until next time subscribe like and comment and most importantly happy building catch you later